showing you my Hanukkah design for this year. I try to do one Hanukkah design at least every single year, and I'll put links to past videos in the description box below. This time I made a mousse that has menorah antlers. I saw this on, I think it was on a Hanukkah card last year, and I made a note of it to myself because um, every time I get a good idea, I always send it for the following year because I never have time the same year. So this was a long time in the making. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I think he's just so cute. He's cartoony and funny and adorable. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with a layer of pale blue acrylic over the background of this nail. I really love this pale blue, especially contrasting with the brown of my mousse. It just makes, it just kind of disappears in the background while making the brown of the mousse just seem a little bit brighter. And I know that sometimes people really aren't a light blue person on their nails. If that's the case for you, otherwise like a shimmery white or even a, like a soft tan or a nude color would be really effective as well but then i'm going to encapsulate this nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and super duper strong and then i'm going to file it into shape with my e-file just to make sure that there's no lumps bumps and imperfections and now with a brown acrylic i'm going to be sculpting mr moose's face so we have the top of his head to start with and then i'm going to add another bead of this slightly shimmery brown for kind of like the rounder portion where the snout would be Kind of tuck in those sides a little bit and make that rounder area extra defined. Tuck it in from the sides if you need to and then use the belly of your brush to sort of make an indent so that that snout area is a little bit pushed forward. And to make it even more extra bulbous, we're going to be adding a second little bead to that and rounding it out. Add just a little bit of a neck sticking out from the bottom of our mousse so we don't have a floating head. Unless, of course, you want a floating head, in which case you can just skip the neck. But after we have that, we're going to use the same color and we're going to be sculpting little ears. So just lay down two of those beads of acrylic and then with the side of your brush, the side of your little 3D brush, press in to create an indent and then tuck in the top to sort of almost fold the acrylic over to give it a little more defined of an ear shape, of a moose ear shape. So now with a darker shade of brown, I'm going to be adding his nose. So just little bead right in the center and really flatten it out a nice richer brown color really is a nice addition to those earthy tones and then with some white acrylic we're going to be sculpting mr moose's eyes so there's the first one and here is the second one and at this point you can already tell that this guy is super like cutesy and cartoonish and sweet and so it's just kind of a nice little i don't know happy design we can always use a little bit more happy, non-stressful stuff in our life, can't we? I think so. But now on a nail form backing with gold acrylic, I'm going to be sculpting the menorah antlers. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying, menorah antlers. So we've got the first base of it and we're going to be wanting four prongs or you know, antler pieces on each half of this. And instead of making it you know, kind of uneven and different like I would normally do for antlers if I were to just be sculpting a moose. I'm going to try to bake these as close to symmetrical in height and width as I can. So there's going to be that next bead that I just laid down there is going to make two more antler prongs on each side. So like I said, try to make them, obviously you don't have to break your back making them symmetrical, but if you can get them to be close to the same size, that would be ideal. So after you have both of those, let them set up completely on the nail form backing so that when you peel them off, they're nice and firm and they're not flexible or bendy anymore. And oh, well, first you actually have to sculpt the candles, don't you? Mm -hmm. With white acrylic, we're going to be doing just the teeniest, tiniest little bit of a candle sticking up out of each of those little antler prongs. So after you do the first two and kind of go in the same pattern, so like how I sculpted the outermost antler prongs first and then I worked my way in do the same thing for the candles just to make sure that your acrylic is set up before you start messing around with it with something else so close by so now after we have the candles done then we're going to be taking a very pale yellow and it's so hard to see on the nail form backing so I'm sorry that you can't see it as clearly as I would hope that you would but we're going to be doing the flames so with just that little touch of yellow on the end of each one, it does not take a lot and it can actually be very difficult to get a bead of acrylic that is so tiny. So my recommendation would be to dip just the very tip of the bristles of your brush in and then still tap it on the sides. But now we're going to be gluing our menorah in place. So we've got the two sides 
and it kind of overlaps our moose's ears ever so slightly. If you wanted to avoid that problem, you might've wanted to sculpt them a little bit farther out to the side, but I was afraid that if you sculpt them too far, like flat out to the side, he'd look, I don't know, disgruntled, I suppose. And I didn't want him to look anything besides happy and cheery. So I wanted to keep them upright. And after we kind of bring a little bit more gold acrylic toward the center of our moose's head to make everything attach, then we're going to be sculpting the center candle with blue. So we've got a darker shade of blue than we used on the background and we're going to be sculpting it like it's attached to his head almost like a little yarmulke and then coming up into that center candle and give it more of a candle holder shape with a brim around it and then obviously you're going to need to add the candle as well with some more white acrylic and then just that little touch just like we did for the other ones with the yellow it's just one smidge of yellow right up there in the middle just like so. And then after we have that done, we can begin doing all of our little painted details. So with some acrylic paint, we're going to be doing this. I always think it's easier to work on top of sculpted and unfiled or finished acrylic with acrylic paint versus gel paint or gel polish. I think the lines just get to be a little cleaner and a little less bumpy if you do them with a paint versus a gel product. So that is what I always prefer to use. So I'm going to do some blue irises on my little mousse and then I'm going to take in some black paint, just do outlines wherever I feel like they're necessary. Due to the cutesy cartoony vibes of this guy, I did do plenty of outlines and give him a little smile, a little mouth, and then do some more outlines or just around the whole, around the whole mousse in the ears and I also wanted to make sure that I outlined kind of like um, a Mickey Mouse character like I kind of took Disney inspiration from well Disney for this guy so they always have above the nose they always have a little like crease right between like right underneath the eyes right above the nose so I added that as well because that's just one of those cute things I'm going to add the wick to each candle a little bit of a definition line between each one I didn't fully outline like the antler prongs or anything but just a couple little outlines wherever they feel necessary. We're going to add some pupils to our moose's eyes. And I want him to be looking up at the candles like, oh no, my antlers are on fire. So I was kind of <laughs> why he's looking up and his mouth is shaped like an O. Add some highlights in his eyes. Little, little details here and there. Just you can kind of go as far as you want with this. I added some outlines or some highlights on my candles too. It's one of those things where stop whenever you feel like you are happy with the results and then you're good to go. But I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the background, over that blue, and then also over just a little bit over the flames if you want to. It's kind of a up to you sort of a deal. And then some matte top coat over our menorah and over our moosey. And that is it. I am so in love with this design. I just think he is so cute. And he has this perfect like, oops, what did I get myself into expression on his face? So I think it's so cute. I hope you love it as much as I do. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you next time. Bye.